How to create Chicago style footnotes in Google Docs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you want to do so in Google Docs, you want to create Chicago style footnotes, this is how you go about it. On the top right hand side, you get your Google Apps and you can jump straight into Docs straight from there. Once you're in Google Docs, you want to, of course, load the document that you'd like to add these Chicago style footnotes to. And here are the steps that you need to take. Right over here at the top, you want to make sure that you are double clicking in the header uh, section. And over here, it says first page header. And on the right hand side, it says different first page. Now we want to unselect this, right? And this will make sure that the footnotes come up on every page that there is a footnote reference. So we're going to now go up to insert and over here we are going to look for page numbers and once you're in page numbers your menu that you have over here you will select out of the four templates that are here the one to the right on the top you're going to tap on that now you can see it has gone ahead and selected the different first pages and it is now going to create headers per page and your footnotes are going to come around on every end of the page so the next thing you want to do is find the space that you would like to add your footnote and you're going to go ahead and just click down on that and you can see over here this is where my cursor is so it's going to have to be directly after your full stop and now what you're going to do is go up to your toolbar on the top of your page and you're going to tap on insert now of course you're going to look for footnote and you're going to tap on that now as you can see what it does is it puts a number reference here which is number one and if you go down to the bottom of the page it will now actually give you your reference or your um, space to put in your footnote so we're going to just go ahead and type on intro so that we have our footnote there and of course your footnote must be a reference to whatever it is that is up in your article or your document you're going to go now and we are going to space this in chicago stop so the first thing you want to do is double click so that you can highlight your footnote and you want to go ahead up to your font on the toolbar at the top here it should be currently in calibri which is by default you're going to now look for times new roman and you're going to make it times new roman and the next thing you want to make sure is the font size is 10 points the next thing you want to do is make sure that your cursor is at the beginning of your text on your footnote and you're going to go up again to format and you're going to tap on format and you're going to go ahead and you're going to look for line and paragraph spacing and you're going to go in here and you're going to select add space after paragraph right and you can see now that it adds that space the next and final step that you're going to take now is going up to your ruler at the top of this page and your indent marker on the left hand side, the blue marker, you are going to tap down and you're going to move it into 1.25, which is half an inch. If you want to learn more cool tips and tricks about Google Docs, you can just tap on this video. Cheerio.